Good to see everybody this morning. There'll be some more that I'll be jumping on here, I think. We had a slight glitch uh, and people are coming back on. So welcome to everybody for this hour of prayer. Um, I have it on my heart this morning to pray for Japan. Hmm. I'd like to spend the next hour um, uh, focusing our prayers, praying for the precious saints in Japan. Um, <clears throat> we all know that the Olympics are coming this summer, at least we assume they are, depending on COVID, of course, but it uh, looks like that'll happen. The whole world's going to be looking at Japan, and uh, one of the things we know is that Japan is the most unreached nation in the world in terms of one people group. Um, very few Christians, very few churches. And so we want to pray together this morning before the throne that the spirit would be poured out this summer season. Um, <clears throat> we connected with a few of the pastors there and some of the leaders. And one of the visions that they have is to ask for a million hours of prayer. Uh, starting July 1st up through the Olympics uh, from around the world, around the nations. And we'll be getting the word out to everybody here and all the different uh, prayer movements around the world with more information there. They'll have some key prayer points for us. Um, <clears throat> but I think this is a great season, great time for us to pray. I'd like to, if we could, encourage us to pray through the points of the Lord's Prayer uh, this morning as we pray for Japan. Um, as we pray for the Olympics, as we pray for evangelism, as we pray for the harvest, as we pray for young adult leaders to be raised up, children in prayer, uh, <clears throat> uh, as we pray for the media and opportunities for the gospel to go forth across the, the platform of social media uh, during this Olympic season. So um, let me open us in prayer, and then I'm just going to ask a few of us to kind of pray as the Lord leads. Again, let's first start as the Lord's Prayer. Jesus taught us to pray, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. So let's go upward first, praise him, adore him, treasure him, glorify him, magnify him. It's all about him. Amen. So Father, we thank you for this time today that we can gather before your throne as one family, as one church. Uh, meeting in many different nations uh, from many different generations across many different locations. We thank you that we are one in one accord in Christ Jesus, your son. And Father, we pray that today, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Let your name be treated as infinitely valuable here on earth, in the nations of the earth, as your name is treated in heaven. Father, we pray that you would pour out the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of your son. We pray that this morning we would come together and glorify your name, glorify your son, that your son might glorify you. Father, hallowed be your great name. We pray these things in your son's name. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, God, we agree. Uh, your name is the best name. It's, it's so right that we would seek to align ourselves with who you are that we would not try to bend you to our image, but rather continue to be conformed to your image. Uh, you, you simply are the best possible, far beyond our imagination, God. And so I pray that as we pray here uh, in different time zones and all, I pray in Jesus' name that as we pray, the end result, the ultimate end result would be that more people would be lined up with who you are. More people would be in love with you. More people would honor your name. More people would see your name, see you, see you, your identity as who you actually are. I pray that, that false images of who you are would fall away and the true perspective of who you are would be very clear in their hearts and their minds and their spirits that more people 
would be around the throne honoring you, glorifying you, praising you because of what we do in this, in this hour here. Yeah, Lord, we just declare um, you are the only God, Lord. It is right for us to submit to you. It is right for us to conform to you. It is right for us to be obedient to you because you are the creator of all things. You are the only wise God. You are the one who knows. And so, Lord, we just joyfully submit ourselves before you. We honor you, Lord. We just know that if we will honor the fathers, if we'll honor the older ones, um, Lord, there is going to be a blessing and there's incredible blessing and longevity, Lord, when we honor you as the eternal God, the ancient of days. So we worship you. We honor you today in Jesus name. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Holy, holy, holy. Lord, you are heavenly, and yet you came and created and choose to partner with us each and every day. And I just marvel at the fact that my heavenly father is also my daddy who um, I can come to for anything. And your word says that you do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we can think or imagine. So, Lord, we come to you, Daddy, we come to you, and we ask you for the nations. We ask you for every tribe and every tongue, um, because I know that I can trust my dad's word. I know that I can trust my Heavenly Father, um, and I know, Lord, that you love us, and I am just so excited about the fact that you choose to dwell among us that you choose to partner with us um, and as holy as you are you're not inaccessible you're just here in the midst of this room and in our prayers so thank you lord for being holy and being heavenly and yet choosing to dwell among your children Father, I pray that you would make your name known and let it be revealed, that it might be revered in the nation of Japan. Father, I thank you for the precious saints, Lord, these Japanese believers and, and even those that don't know you in this nation, that you'd reveal your glory to them. Father, I pray, make your name known to them. Let your name be honored and hallowed in their midst. Father, it's your name that's at stake. I pray, Father, show them your love. Show them your kindness. Show them your mercy. Father, pour out your spirit and unveil, Lord, your great glory and character to them. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh. And Father, we want to we want to pray that during this season, this summer season, that the goal that they have of a million hours of prayer by the body of Christ worldwide for the nation of Israel would be accomplished. And God, I don't have a stopwatch, and I don't know who does, but I want to pray that there would be a, a, a mil, at least a million hours of prayer logged before the throne of God. Uh, as this as this noble goal has been presented, Lord, I pray for this brother, my friend Akira Mora. Uh, I pray in Jesus' name that you would show him his part. Uh, thank you for what he's already done. I pray for uh, for encouragement for him. I pray for Daniel Reddington, Ken Reddington, these missionary brothers who've been in <clears throat> who've been in 
in Japan, raised in Japan, and, and then been back there ministering in Japan for over 50 years. God, I pray that you would show them fruit, show them the fruit of their labors, as it's been a hard, hard road to hoe for them. A lot of energy and a little bit of fruit. God, we pray that the fruit would abound, the fruit would increase there, Lord. And specifically, Lord, I pray that, that the kingdom of God would come, the reign of God, the governance of God would come over the nation of Japan. Yes, Lord. Lord, you said that Jesus carries the governments on his shoulders. I, I pray in Jesus' name that you would carry the governance of the nation of Japan on your shoulder and break away anything that would hinder the gospel message from coming mm. and let your kingdom come and reside is to be superimposed over the governance of what's there now. Lord, you, you govern in a completely different way. You said that your, your kingdom mm. is, is governed through righteousness and through peace and joy. So I pray for an increase of righteousness in the nation of Japan. I pray for an increase of the shalom of God in the nation of Japan. I pray, Lord, for an increase of the joy of God yes. in the nation of Japan. I pray that there would be a flood of righteousness, a flood of peace, a flood of joy, an eruption of these things, God. Let it, let it come in a supernatural way so that the people around them are starting to say, what, what is this? Mm. And then, God, give believers opportunity to speak the gospel in clear language so that those who have experienced this righteousness, this peace, this joy, would then be able to understand the source of these things, and it would truly be the righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Feel free to jump in, others, as you feel led. We're praying for Japan. Uh, praying through the Lord's Prayer. Just unmute and lead us out, and we'll agree with you. When it comes to the Olympics, we're used to seeing athletes being awarded gold, silver, and bronze medals. I would like to use that line of thought as a way of praying. Heavenly Father, <clears throat> this coming summer, um, many individuals are going to be rewarded very publicly for their achievements. They have worked hard, they have sacrificed. They are in top form physically and they have performed. And we will give them medals and we will play their national anthems. Rightfully so. But there is a name above all names. Jesus. And look what he has done. Mm. By leaving heaven, humbling himself, leading a perfect life, pouring out his blood, bearing your full and righteous wrath for our sins, overcoming the grave and ascending into heaven. That needs to be celebrated. Mm -hmm. That deserves all of the gold medals, all of the silver medals, all of the bronze medals ever awarded. Mm -hmm. And so we pray in anticipation for what you are going to do through the Olympics in Japan, mm -hmm. magnify the name of Jesus, and that we play his song. Mm -hmm. And there are lots of songs, lots of hymns, lots of praise and worship songs. May we sing his song as his people, awarding him mm. the praise that he deserves from the ultimate achievement any human being has ever achieved. For we pray this in your high and holy name, Abba. Amen.
Father God, we come to you in the name of Jesus. We lift you up and we magnify you and we thank you for being God and God alone. Thank you that your name is holy, O oh God. It's without spot, it's without variance. There is no fickleness in you or your name, Father God. So we can trust you. You are tried and you are true. Father God, we come lifting up Japan and the Japanese Olympics this summer, Father God. Father, we pray that your kingdom would come. Let your kingdom come, Father God. As we pray, as we intercede, that your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Father, help us to trust you. Help us to surrender to you and just wait on you for every word of prayer, for every burden of yours to enter our hearts. Help us tr to trust you and not to lean to our own understanding or not to lean to the things of this earth that we have become familiar with, Father God, but trust you with our whole hearts as we reach the souls, Father God, because it's all about you. You know the perfect way to do it. Mm -hmm. You know every word that should be said. Oh, Father God, you know the households that are already ready. We repent, oh God. And most of what we've done, we've done out of ignorance. But Father God, help us to truly trust you and to surrender to you and your way because your way is so perfect, oh God. Oh, Father God, let your will be done in earth through us, these vessels of clay as it is already in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread, all that we need, that you know we need, not what we think we need, but give us what we need. David said, give us that which is necessary. I forgot the exact word, but David said, give us only that which is necessary. We don't need all of the other extraneous stuff, Father God, but only that which is necessary to do your will. And Father God, help us to forgive because we are so indebted to you. We are so indebted. So help us to forgive, Father God. Oh, have mercy upon us. Help us to forgive so that we can receive. Father, in the name of Jesus, lead us not into temptation. Those things that are not of you, those things that we've been taught those things that are part of culture. Oh, Father God, help us to abandon those things and to trust you for the things we truly need and deliver us from the evil one, Father God, because we're called by your name. He has us in his sights. But oh God, deliver us from all temptation. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory and the splendor and the joy and the magnificence. Oh God, be glorified in us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Amen.
I'd like to ask uh, Steve Hall if you'd like to lead us next, and then Glenn if you want to follow Steve. I'm praying for Japan, the Olympics, I'm praying through the Lord's Prayer. Just unmute, uh, Steve, unmute, and lead us in prayer. Am I am I unmuted now? Oh, I there just joined. Sorry, I. Uh, <laughs> can I pass and listen? I just just was able to join. Sure, sounds good, brother. Jump in when you're ready. So, yeah. Father, I want to pray for um, the outpouring of your Spirit upon the Japanese uh, this summer. Uh, Lord, I pray that. Spirit of God, you would come and soften their hearts, awaken their hearts. God, I pray that uh, you would come and, and break through the strongholds of Shintoism and, and Buddhism and atheism. I pray that you would remove the blindness of the God of this age is put over their minds, that, that they would see the light of the glory of Christ. God, I pray that the glory of God in the face of Jesus, let them see in this land of the rising sun, I pray that, Jesus, you would rise upon them and over them. Show them your glory. We ask for the inbreaking of your kingdom. That, Jesus, you would act as king in their midst. I pray that your governmental reign and rule would bring down every stronghold. Lord, that you would release them from bondage. That they would uh, come into the light and see the great gospel, the good news of Jesus, and respond. Lord, I thank you for these precious ones. Lord, we ask that this would be a summer of revival, a season of the outpouring of the Spirit of God. God, I pray for many, many thousands to say yes to Jesus. Amen. Father, do it in, in your name and for your name's sake. Amen. Yes, Lord, and one of the things you said about your kingdom and the way that it comes is it oftentimes comes as a little tiny seed, but it grows to be a big, big tree. Lord, right now, there's a lot of little seeds, little followers of Christ, or just a few followers of Christ in Japan. And you love every person in Japan with that, that infinite love that you have. And so, God, I want to pray that these that the little the, the little seeds the, the small amount of seeds that's there in the uh, of 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 believers in Christ of the word of god going out etc i pray that that those seeds would fall on good soil lord remove the the stones don't remove the hardness do some do some fouling of the ground i pray in jesus name so that that it it, it, it lands in good soil, and the seed that, is, that goes out, the Word of God, the simple Word of God in, in Scripture portions, in tracts, in, in verbal communication, uh, in, in uh, digital communication, that the Word that goes out would fall in good soil, yes. and that would produce a good crop, Lord. We're looking for 30, 60, 100, 1,000 fold yes. in Jesus' name. Let your kingdom come and be expanded through the current believers that are there. I pray that you would give them a boldness that they've never had before. Yes. I pray that you'd give them opportunities like they've never had before. And, and so that as they, as they see and seize the opportunities, they would be bold, they would speak, and they would see a good harvest, I pray in Jesus' name. <laughs> Well, there's something is coming to me, a song, Jesus, 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 sweetest name I know, fills my every longing, keeps me singing as I go. I pray that there would be a, just a massive longing uh, for Jesus that would rise up within these dear people across uh, the land of Japan. Uh, 
pray that your spirit would push away anything that has kept them away from him uh, over the years, whether it be from false religion or pride or, or just not knowing about him. But you alone, Holy Spirit, you can come and do that. And I'm just seeing pe person after person, all the way from children, all the way up to the oldest of the people, uh, having a fresh hunger and longing uh, for Jesus to be their Lord their savior, their master, their ruler, their king. So Jesus, 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 may you be the sweetest that name they know. You fill their every longing and keep them singing and uh, shouting and rejoicing who you are and who they are in you. Thank you, Father. Yeah, Lord, and we just acknowledge, um, Lord, the darkness that has ruled over Japan and has made um, it's such a difficult place for the gospel, Lord, from the rejection and martyrdom of early missionaries, Lord, to just the, the wicked influences that were so manifest during World War II, um, Lord, even to what we see now with the um, uh, just the secularism that's present, um, the strangeness of certain things, Lord, we just, we, we sense a darkness, Lord, but we just say, where sin has abounded, mm -hmm. let grace all the more abound, Lord. Where it has been difficult for there to be a harvest, God, we just say, let there be an even greater harvest now. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. And Lord, we just say, let the sun of righteousness rise upon the land of the rising sun Lord, mm -hmm. in this time Hallelujah. as part of this last great harvest, Lord. Just send a tsunami of your spirit, Lord, over the, these islands, over this people that have been so far, Lord, that have been resistant, that have been oppressed by the enemy, have agreed with his lies. But Lord, we say, break the power of sin and death over these islands. Break the power of the evil one in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, I agree. And Lord, I thank you for the... Um, Years ago, as I was working in secular universities, God, and, and then followed up at, at OMF uh, in, in working with people, God, thank you that you have saved many uh, Japanese uh, young men and women, Lord, as they have traveled and studied in, in other nations. Um, yet, Lord, we know it's very difficult when they return home uh, to find good churches and to feel connected and to... Uh, yeah, just the entrapments in, in the culture and the pace and expectations and various things, uh, Lord, make it very challenging. And so I want to pray for them out of um, 1 Timothy 6. But you, O man of God, run from these things and pursue righteousness, godliness, faith, love, endurance, and gentleness. Fight the good fight for the faith. Take hold of eternal life that you were called to and have made a good confession about in the presence of many witnesses. Lord, I just pray for these men and women who may, who may now be uh, 10, 20, 30, 40 years older. God, I pray that they would step into the fight. Lord, that, that what you birthed in them, God would no longer lie dormant, but God, that they would arise in their faith. God, that they would unite in their love. God, that they would uh, move passionately uh, for the things that are in your heart, Father God. Lord, I pray that they would no longer be secret believers or silent believers, mm -hmm. but Jesus, that they would pursue your righteousness, your, your godliness, your faith, your endurance, and your gentleness. Lord, that in these days, through this summer and beyond, God, that they would now be men and women yes. who would stand up and fight the faith, that they would lead the charge. Jesus, that uh, that is, there are others who will be coming from around the world um, to, to witness and evangelize, to, uh, to even be praying, especially in this season. God, we ask that these ones who are there, Lord, that their faith would be ignited, God, that they would step in um, to, a, to a newfound uh, expression and Holy Spirit, that you would be poured out in their hearts, God, uh, Lord, that they would no longer be entrapped by the things of this world, by the things of the culture, um, by the things of family traditions, um, whatever those, those um, 
opposing forces may be. Uh, Lord, we pray for their release, um, that, that these ones, God, would be your voice uh, and would show your heart of love and compassion, of joy, of mercy, uh, Lord, of steadfastness and, and of great faith. Uh, Lord, I pray that they would rise up. Let them rise up and, um, and lead. Uh, lead your church in Japan, I pray in Jesus' name. Father, I have this picture in my mind of standing in a, uh, a temple in Tokyo and seeing um, the worshipers of, of Buddha just pulling the smoke over their heads with their hands, standing around the coals and pulling the smoke over their heads mm. and um, just being dumbfounded, Father, by that picture of them wanting to be in a mist, wanting to be covered with smoke, and then standing in Hiroshima and seeing the bombed out building and, and, and seeing the weeping people standing around what used to be the glory of Japan, their might and their power, their uh, world supremacy, a lot of things, Father, in the heart of that nation and pride, and they were broken. They were broken as a nation. Father, I want to pray for the heart of these people who are in a mist. They have not seen you. They have held to tradition and they have held to pride. And they are completely in this young culture. They're completely distracted with fascination of what goes on in the Western world. Father, we lift them up and ask is you own them, you died for them, yes. you bought them with your own blood, and you love them deeply. We pray that you would clear the mist from their yes. eyes, that you would open their eyes and bring them out of darkness into your light, out from under the dominion and authority of Satan into the kingdom of God, who is our true authority. And you would release them from the false religion, from the very heart of, of Shinto and Buddha, and those things that entrap them, so that they cannot see the King of Kings and the Lord of Glory. We ask you to go for their hearts, Father. Go for their hearts and open their eyes. In Jesus' name. So I was just seeing also the word orderly. And so Father, we just cry out, there is a idolatry of orderliness and doing it just so and not so loud and just, you know, all at some sort of level of orderliness. And Father, we just ask you to break the power. We agree with you that the power of that idol of orderliness would be broken in Jesus' name. And we pray for a release of that Davidic worship where he was unashamed of his love for you, that he would leap through the streets, Lord, unashamed, passionately ex exposing himself and all of his the beauty of his relationship with you, the years of that relationship relationship displayed for all of his city to see. And so, Father, we thank you for that unashamedness. Now we break the power of shame over this culture in Jesus' name. And we say unashamed, unashamed, unashamed. And Father, we ask you right now for more laborers to come to the Olympics. I saw that word, Balo, Lord, that you would forcefully release maybe people that haven't even had any idea that this is happening, suddenly to hear about it and get, get drawn, but get fascinated by the culture and the people with your heart for them. We pray that whatever, whoever is already planning on being there, the YWAMers and the others, Father, that you would multiply it. You would triple those that would come to the Olympics this summer. And we cry out for that in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Amen. Lord, I want to pray for worship evangelism. God, I pray for spontaneous worship mobs, God, that uh, young people uh, would be dancing on the streets and singing your praises, God. You'd back that up, God, with signs, wonders, and miracles. And pour out the spirit of healing, God. I pray for uh, people to get healed in the name of Jesus right during the Olympics, God, that praise would be arising to you. 
as you act in their midst, God, and make yourself known. I pray for boldness, God. Send forth laborers. Send them. Thrust them out, God. All throughout uh, Tokyo, we pray for evangelists and singers and musicians, and, uh, creative artists. God, I pray and ask, Lord, right now, God, make yourself known during these Olympics. We pray in Jesus' name. I've been listening to our prayers and participating. Two pictures come to mind from the Japanese culture. We were stationed there with my husband for several years. And that is that of the samurai warrior. And then their tradition for playing drums, the taiko drums. And we've been to see them perform and it's magnificent. The unity is mesmerizing. So this prayer, Holy Heavenly Father, as we lift up together the nation of Japan, they understand the aspect of war <clears throat> and fighting through the tradition of the samurai warrior. They started out as aristocrats and then became a whole class. And so we pray for the spiritual battle that is taking place in the heavenly realms over Japan, the forces of good arrayed against the forces of evil. And may they come to understand, the Japanese, <clears throat> that they have a fierce, fierce samurai warrior in the Lord Jesus Christ, who took on Satan and vanquished him by dying on the cross for their sins. May that picture, historical in nature, be what you use in part to speak to individuals. And then when it comes to the body of Christ, Lord God Almighty, we pray for the same kind of commitment to rehearsal, uh, the precision, um, <clears throat> the unity that flows when these drum players come together and put on a performance that is truly stunning, both to the ear and the eye. And so may your body, few as they are at this point in Japan, be united and work together in ways that are stunning and appealing and welcoming, first to the Japanese and then the visitors who will come. For we pray this in the fierce and beautiful name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Father, I uh, remember as others have been praying, my uh, some of my relatives who were missionaries in Japan in the, I think the 50s and the, the 60s and, and how there was so little response to the gospel. And I know that you are faithful and many have been faithful in, in ministering there. And I pray, Lord, that the seeds that have maybe have been dormant of your spirit, of your love, of your power, of your hope, of your uh, cleansing, of your freedom uh, over the, the decades and the centuries, possibly, that those would be watered, they would rise up, they would catch hold in the hearts and the minds and the, of the, the people there in, in Japan. Lord, let what you have planning, but the good works that you have begun, let them come into complete fruition now in these days. Uh, we long for what your plans and your purposes are in these, these dear people. Lord, release, release, set free, cause them to, to see you and long for you and surrender to you and receive you as Savior and Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. The Lord has put it on my heart. IPC has many ministries associated with it. And what he is saying to me is that we, 
each ministry has its own daily reading, et cetera, that it can uh, use as a resource. But if IPC could come up with one very simple, short daily reading with its attached scripture verse and all of these ministries could pray the same thing every day, every day as one voice. And at the end of it, we could ask the Lord for a million souls from Japan. I think it could cause a cataclysmic shift mm. in reaching the unreached people groups of the world especially starting with Japan from this time forward in Jesus' name. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's a great idea. Let's do it. <laughs> we'll see if we can, uh, we are working on a prayer guide, but I love that of every day, just maybe one prayer point, a short, just a couple thoughts. So we received that. That is the, I think that might be the Lord. So thank you so much. Others, if you're led to pray for Japan, got about 20 minutes left here. Let's continue to, to ask God for his name to be made great, his kingdom to come, his will to be done. God, you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. Yes, Lord, that you are so powerful. You are the miracle God. A few years ago, I met a group of Japanese in Holy Land. There are a few hundreds of them are the young generation. They are so anointed, mm -hmm. the worship in the in the street. Oh God, we thank you for your raising up the younger generation to be the sons of God, to raising up the voice of the Lord, that ringing up in the spiritual realms to frustrate the forces of darkness. Truly, oh God, that you were birthed for even more of the sons of Samuel. They were prophesied words to the people in their nations. Oh God, that you're raising up many of your vessels. Oh God, that full of your spirit to demonstrate the glory and the power of the living God. As they sing, oh God, as they pray, it will reveal your glory. People will be touched mm -hmm. by their love. Father, we pray that this fire, it will keep on igniting in their heart, that burning, burning in Japan. And let Japan, oh God, to see the light of Jesus to shine against in forces of darkness in the nations. Oh God, we pray for your grace and your mercy. It's your mercy, oh God, that you will save all those of the lost so in the nations. May they come, oh God, to know your heart, so oh Father. Open the blind eyes. They will see you, oh God. They will find hope in you. Father, let this voice of your children, they're going forth into the battlefields, oh God, to bring for this gospel of hope to all this lost soul. Lord, we cry out to you and pray for your intervention. Oh God, your spirit will convict, convict the souls, oh Father. Let them come with a heart of repentance, oh Father, we ask. In the name of Jesus, you are the God, a healer. Yes. You heal them of their soul, oh God. Oh, Father, we cry. I mm. pray that you forgive them of their sins. Yes. There is power in your precious blood. You wash, you wash the land, oh God, in the north, east, south, west. You cleanse and purge out all those sins of their heart, oh God. Let them come and return to the Father. Oh, God, we thank you. May you rain down the spirit of love to flood into the land. 
overflood in Japan, that Japan be filled with your love. It's only your love, oh God, they will melt the hearts of them, oh God, so that they will not conform to the things of the world. Oh Father, as we cried out to you, we pray, oh God, that you will stretch out your hand and deliver and rescue those of the broken hearted and cross spirit as they're crying out to you. Lord, that you will save them of their soul. Truly, you are the God of love. It's your love, for oh God never ceases to Japan. We thank you that we will see breakthrough. We, pray, we see deliverance that taken place in Japan. Let Japan never be the same anymore, oh God. Mm -hmm. This will be the new era for Japan, yes. oh God. Amen. Lord, we thank you once again for your grace. In Jesus' name I pray, amen, amen. Amen. Lord, I thank you. I thank you, Lord, for your love that you are pouring out to the people of Japan, oh Lord, that they will no longer see Shintoism, oh Lord, but they see your light and accept Christ Jesus, Lord. Father, I bring the elderly generations, oh God, Father, into your presence, oh Father, would you walk in them, oh Lord, help them realize that it has been you, no one else but you, Jehovah Shaddai. Father, help them that they see it's you who be praised, you who created the world, oh Lord, and you who brought man into being, oh God, and you desire to have fellowship with man, Lord. Father, I pray that you may reach out, that they will not hold on to their traditions and their beliefs and worshiping in shrines, but they will be set Set free, Father, and turn to you, acknowledging Christ Jesus and the sacrifice that he did at Calvary, Lord. Set them free, Lord, that it will go down to the fathers and mothers in this nation, O oh Lord, that as how they will live, they will put godly principles and values, oh Lord. I pray that you may strengthen the church, oh God, as they uplift you. Let your praise, Lord, arise in the nation of Japan, oh Lord. The people will cry out and acknowledge you and glorify your name, oh God, and turn to you, turn into the path of righteousness. For you is the you are the only one who justifies through Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Father, help them know this, Lord. Would you be with them, oh Lord? Lord. Would you guide them, oh Father, Lord, even the believers who are there, God, strengthen them, embolden them, oh Lord, that they will be able to be bold in spreading your word, oh God, and the truth and the light of Christ Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Our Father, we just want to continue to thank you, Lord, for the voices that have been raised before you on behalf of your blessed nation, Japan. Yes. And Lord, we are so grateful, Father, Lord, for we know we can call upon your name according to your word in Psalm chapter 2 and verse 8. You have asked us to ask of you of the nations, and you will give them to us as our inheritance. So, Lord, on the table of our outcry today is the nation of Japan. Lord, that from the north to the south, from the east to the west of the nation of Japan, from the little children, to the youths, to the adults, to the working class. We want, oh Lord, that your Holy Spirit move over this nation. And Lord, let there be a harvest of hearts, harvest of souls for the kingdom of Christ. Lord, we come against all the principalities and the powers, all the forces of resistance against the gospel of Jesus in this nation called Japan. Lord, on this altar of nations, we cry to you, O oh God, that the powers and the principalities of Japan, we come against you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We break your stronghold over that nation. We break your grip over the hearts and the mind of the people of the nation. We break your rule over the heart and the mind of the people that makes people to turn their heart away from the Lord and give their heart and their mind to secularism, knowledge, and all the forms of things that, does not, that is not of God, that's not of Christ. So every strength that you are exerting above the people of, of, of Japan, according to the word of God in Isaiah 10 to the 7, we break that yoke right now and we declare a release for the people of Japan. In the name of you, we cry release 
We cry release. Yes. In the name yes. Of God. yes. We cry release. Yes. We cry for the people of Japan right now, for it is their time. The light has come. It's their season for them to be harvested in the kingdom of Christ. In every sphere, the youth, the adults, the working class, the illiterates, yet we cry out not a release for the people of Japan in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Thank you, Prince yes. Father. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. We know it is done. We know it is done. Yes. In the glory of your name. Yes. In I kept, Jesus. Yeah. I kept hearing in the Jesus. scriptures. You come in with sword Jesus. and spear, but we come in the name of the Lord. But we thank you again that Davidic anointing that he said who is this philistine to stand against the, the god almighty who are you who do you think you are father we pray for one smooth stone right now we pray father that when when this this um daily prayers are coming up that there would be one smooth stone of your word that would put a a stone or it would knock out the giant or of the Goliath that's been over Japan. We cry out, Lord, give us that smooth stone. And with one slingshot, Lord, that thing will come down because we come at that thing in the name of the Lord. Amen. 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 Father, you know that I live just a few miles from where one of the um, camps were held for Japanese people during the. Um, after Pearl Harbor here in Colorado, and they are restoring it as a memorial, hopefully a national monument for what was done so that it'll never happen again. Mm. We pray that as athletes are going to Japan uh, for the Olympics, that a spirit of repentance will be taken there, that there will be a, a heart for the Japanese people from our athletes, even the ones who aren't Christians, Lord, that they will take the love of God uh, there. And that, Lord, we pray for all the the spiritual leaders there in Japan, that they will have a spirit of unity out of John 17, that mm -hmm. they won't be a competitive. Sometimes we as ministries get competitive over who's doing what and who gets to talk to whom. So Lord, we just pray for a spirit of unity, yes. that they will stand together uh, and that these Olympics will truly be a huge step forward in the kingdom of God in Japan, that we will see your grace magnified throughout the country uh, and that we will see many, many people come to know you because of this. So we, we just come, Lord, just seeking your guidance and your direction over, over all the spiritual leaders that are there that will be making a difference during the Olympics. Yes, Lord, I come into complete agreement with that. And I also pray, just like Romans one twenty says, that the unseen things... Um, your divine power or your eternal power and your divine authority are seen clearly through creation so that we're without excuse, Lord. And you, one of your greatest creations are us. Um, the way that our body works, the way that we move, the way that we can um, push limits. And Lord, I just ask that as the best in the world are coming together um, to basically show off what you've created, Lord. I know that that's not in everyone's forefront, but I ask that this time, that this Olympics, that that would be that your um, eternal power, your creative spirit, everything about you would be made very, very clear um, as the whole world is watching. And the other thing, Lord, that you've put on my heart is, um, it is so clear in, in the word that one day, all nations will come and worship you in Jerusalem. And I don't know of any other thing in the world right now where all nations are coming together. And obviously they're not doing that. Um, that's not the intention right now, Lord, but I ask that there would be a release of um, exactly what Glenn just prayed, but a release of yes. almost like a, a, a for, um, foreseeing or, or a, just a, almost like a picture of what that's going to look like that there would be such an outpouring of your spirit that it it looks as if we're the time is bending to that day lord mm. um that there would just be such an outpouring that there would be um revival salvations that there would just be amazing thing that would open the doors for these things that we've been praying for in this last hour over japan lord that's no mistake that it's in japan this year and that all eyes will be watching lord so i just ask that this stage is set for you to do what you're going to do in the name of your son, Yeshua. Amen.
Mm-hmm. And Lord, I, I'm asking you on the heels of those last two prayers, mm-hmm. Father, I'm hearing the word oneness. Unity is the gifts of the body working together for your will. Oneness is what you prayed for, Jesus. Oneness with you, one with, oneness with the Father, so that the glory that was is yours maybe upon the body of Christ. And so, Father, as they march onto that field, as they march in, in unity behind their country with the flags, and they work together for the glory of themselves and the glory of their countries, I pray, Father, for a spirit of oneness in the body of Christ who comes there to pray, who's praying around the world. In that oneness, Father, you would be seen. The spirit of the living God would be seen. Not the glory of the nations, but the glory of the Father. Through Amen. Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Wonderful. Um, just to close here, just a couple minutes left. I wanted to just ask Dennis if he could share with us just briefly. Um, we're going we're gonna to hear from him a full teaching here during the next hour. Um, but Dennis, just share with us uh, about the story of Terry Dirks. Dennis leads the international um, renewal ministry uh, known to a lot of us as the Pastor's Prayer Summits. Um, uh, share with us what happened in Japan. We've been praying for Japan. and uh, Maybe give us a little insight, maybe what God might want to do here in the future. Yeah, thank you, Jason. Yes, uh, International Renewal Ministries uh, is the ministry that sort of shepherds the pastor's prayer summits. It began in, uh, initially in 1989, and soon after, it was just, it, it started out Northwest, Northwest America Renewal Ministries, but soon after, people started hearing about these pastors' gatherings for three or four days just simply to pray together, setting aside logos and egos and that kind of stuff, and just coming and praying together for that length of time. And so, some people from some missionaries from Japan heard about this and invited uh, IRM to come on over there. And so in the late 90s, uh, they had a couple prayer summits there. And then Terry Dirks, the man who was giving leadership to that ministry in 1999, uh, went on over and was sharing about just simply sharing with different pastors groups about the vision of what it would look like uh, what, and what could happen if pastors from across denominations, across generations, across uh, racial lines, across denominational lines would get together and just simply seek God and say, God, here we are, there you are, let us, be, let us line up our desires and such with you. And what, what might you do? And he was sharing this vision in different places. And, and literally one night, uh, the latter days of September, I think it was September 29th through 30th of 1999, he, he was in Japan. He shared vision, et cetera, with some groups. He, he literally went to bed and died that night. Uh, the, 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 the soul, the seeds of Terry Dirk's uh, heart were planted in Japan. And um, there were a few prayer summits that, have, that took place then, and there are still some that are taking place annually there, but they're, they're very small and, and, and all. And, and yeah, I'd love it if a couple of people would pray that the, the spark uh, of, of what took place and, and what can take place through pastors gathering together, praying, uh, seeking the Lord, worshiping Him, calling out for His uh, heart to come and and Im, implant itself in our heart, and that, that that we would have a fresh vision of ministry, a fresh vision of what God wants to accomplish. It'd be wonderful if we could pray for more prayer summits in Japan over the next few years. Yes. Yeah. Thanks, Dennis. Yeah. Jonathan, is this want, a good time uh, for everybody to unmute for just a minute and pray into that? Sure. Just have everybody unmute and just pray. Great, yeah. yeah let's just go for the sort of Korean style in for Japan. Yeah. 
Amen and amen. Thank you, Jason, for this leading us this this past hour. Thank you.